How do you do? We are about to unfold the story of Frankenstein. He's one of the strangest tales ever told. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. Well, we've warned you. You've been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast where we discuss and dissect the Frankenstein films minute by minute. I'm Bill Evenson. And I'm Tom Lang, and we are in minute 23 of 1931's Frankenstein, where um, Henry continues to kind of put Waldman in his place a little bit because he remains, you know, very stoically skeptical, mm-hmm. Waldman, and Henry is pretty adamant that this is going to work. Mm-hmm. And I notice it's a, it's a much tighter shot on Henry this time, mm-hmm. and it, it sort of punches up the intensity of, of Clive's performance, Colin Clive's uh, performance as Henry. His eyes are just, I don't think he blinks through this whole <laughs> shot. Yeah, um, yeah Cly- Clive dying so young is, and, and having the hard life that he had is just such a tragedy. It is. Because, you know, you can't help but wonder how much that hard life contributed to it. Well, that's a, the a, thing, is I think if you wouldn't have had that hard life, would you have gotten this performance? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like you look at Peter Sellers, and he was pretty fucked up. Yeah. But had he not been, would he have been able to give us what he did? Yeah, exactly. It's the same sort of thing, yeah. I think what you see is what you get a lot of times with Colin Clive. Mm-hmm. Sort of tortured, high-strung, neurotic. I mean, there's, there's a reason he is so good in this, mm-hmm. in this role. You know, he sort of lives that. And of course, you know he's tragically alcoholic. Yeah. Which of course, which what killed him? Uh, what? How did it, how did that six, kill him? Um, Liver issues. I, I I don't I remember, remember what he died. Just yeah, from drank, but, drank yeah, himself to death. Drank himself to death. Basically, you hear that so often. Yeah. You mean, you don't know exactly. Is it? What are the uh, the actual medical? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Contact us here at Blonde Dead Studios <laughs> if you know. Mean, I didn't mean to call you out on it. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks you know, for... And the, <laughs> so, the, the, you know, the thing you were saying about um, uh, Waldman being skeptical is one of the things that I think about that is in the real world, that would actually be admirable. That's one of the things about mm, yeah. uh, science fiction and fantasy, I suppose especially science fiction, but no, fantasy as well. When you do have a real world character who's skeptical, right. like especially in a in a in a book, say for children, where where there's say a a, a lion in your wardrobe or something, yeah. you know the parents are going to be or or parent figures are going to be portrayed as skeptical, and right. that's never good, right? Or, yeah. or Harry Potter's aunt and uncle or whatever it is, or no. well, I guess they got other issues. But you know, you get my point. <laughs> yes. Usually, the skeptic is not considered the hero. They're the right. people they're that the... you don't like. But in yeah. real life. I think we would agree that these are the heroes. <laughs> hey, if I if I'd have just walked into this, I'd be a little skeptical <laughs> yeah, myself. Like, I don't think this is going to go the way you're, right. you think it's going to go. I, You've I, already I, fucked up a lot of ways yeah, along the yeah, yeah, path yeah, here, pal. Yeah. So I hope whatever you're about to do doesn't burn the fucking watchtower now. <laughs> While wow, we're locked in it, yeah. you just locked, <laughs> locked the door, stuck the key in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. I mean, anyway. So yeah, that's the, Baldwin definitely occupies. That, well, um, he's, he's sort of, yeah, the voice of reason. He's the voice of reason. And, and I think because we've taken this journey 22 minutes in, 23 minutes in with Henry, right? our sympathies very much lie with him, yep. no matter what he's done. And, you know, like you said, he's done some shit. And it's a movie, and you kind of know what you're going to get, and right. you're looking forward to it. It's it's The, the title of the film is Frankenstein, <laughs> not Baldwin. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess I wonder at what point you learn what Frankenstein is. But whatever, it, it, it's hard to picture you, you watching mean like this in, for the first in, time in your collective subconscious, yeah, sort of the pop culture. Does everybody just know what that is? I suppose on some level, because I used yeah. to watch the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner hour. Yeah, they'd have, and I'm sure there's, there uh, was enough Frankenstein-y stuff in there, yeah. or just well, in the monsters. The monsters, yeah, yeah. exactly. So yeah. by the time you actually sit down and watch Frankenstein, yeah. you know what's going to. I happen. knew, I yeah. By the time I actually saw the film, mm-hmm. you know, I was probably seven. Eight. You were like, you, then so you were like, yeah, I, knew, I just I had know. Frankenberry for breakfast. Yeah, uh, I had already had an action figure. You know, I uh, yeah, really, used to cool. get the uh, the creature feature monster oh, cards man. from Tops with the absolutely unchewable gum in it and yeah yeah it's sharp so it was razor you know, blade gum it was sort of part of the here we go part of the zeitgeist there you go certainly Perfect. in the in the early 70s when i was growing up 
Yeah. You know, it was sort of the tail end of that monster kid craze. Right. Um, so it was everywhere. Mm -hmm. Toys, commercials. I sent you a bunch of commercials sure. on YouTube. Of, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll know, have, to, for, uh, have to put those up. Yeah. We'll have to tweet those or right, something. Right, right. You know, um, big pens and and. So, yeah, toy so, everybody so everybody knows, knows what's, what's going to happen. And so Waldman is not portrayed as the voice of reason, especially, so much as he, an obstruction he's to an the fun. <laughs> yeah, he's, well, throughout, he's... he's Unlike the character Van Helsing that, yeah. that oh, Van Sloan plays in, in Dracula, where he is the voice of reason. Right. And he's like, no, 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 this is real. This shit's going down. That's a good and point. That's perfect. Because he's, he's, he's not, that's perfect, actually, because he should else, be a skeptic if he's every, the voice of reason. Yeah, everybody, everybody else, else doesn't skeptic, believe yeah, right. that there's a vampire. Yeah, yeah, so this is sort of the, the, hmm. the polar opposite where he is, and he's very reactionary throughout. Yeah. Oh, he's not my student. Fuck you! Get out of my office. <laughs> yeah, yep. Um, he, he's skeptical. He's constantly careful. Look out mm -hmm. throughout. So yeah, it's I was going to say here he's even condescending a little like bit. Henry Henry has this position physically over him. Mm -hmm. uh, he's leaning over him and leaning in too far, a little too close to be to his little too close for comfort. Space, yeah. yeah, and and in movies. You get that anyway. Yeah, and they'll crowd right, together right, to get yeah. a better close-up or whatever. Yeah. But in this case, it really seems like he's well, leaning in. Well, again, with him. the tighter shot of Henry yeah. leaning in towards the camera mm -hmm. gives you that, yeah, that yeah. he's... And Waldman is not moving. Not having... Not yeah, he up. hasn't flinched. He's, he's sitting up straight and staring yep. right back in his face yep. and saying, Bullshit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, uh, I'm going to turn that ray on that body. Money. Does he mean... I, maybe this is silly, but he says that ray. The like, ray beyond the... The ray I was just talking the about. The ray we were talking okay, about last right. week. Beyond no, he's the, not pointing at a ray or anything. <laughs> there's ray there's no one there named Ray. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> All right, hey. That's, uh, Fritz is like, my name's not <laughs> Ray. It's not Ray. And, no, yeah. God. It's not that. No, okay. it's the ray that he discovered in First this... brought life into the world. Yes. The X-ray. The X-ray, <laughs> evidently. Yeah, according to Unless, what I've According to what seen. you found, yeah. That body is not dead. Well, yeah, so you, you really believe you can bring life to the dead? Mm -hmm. Which he just said he could. <laughs> he just said that he brought some, experimented on dead animals and kept a human heart beating yeah. for three weeks. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> I can't right. do that, that's can right. you? No. Could no. Waldman? I doubt that's it. That's true. So that's a pretty impressive accomplishment. You know. And yet he still is like, really? Yeah. I call bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Well, and I would say I'd still be on his side in this. In oh, I would he too. didn't see the heart beating. Oh, I would too. I would. I would. I, full of shit. You're I would too. I, you know. Yeah. You know, now that you mention it, three weeks, is he, how long is this monster going to uh, live for? Uh, for he, think seven more three, films three, anyway. Three, three weeks, at least three <laughs> weeks. At least seven more films. He, if you could just get three weeks. Three weeks, pretty that's good. pretty impressive. That's pretty yeah. damn good. Yeah. yeah with, so he know. says that body is not dead. He ins he's insistent that that body, body is, is not dead. dead. It has never lived. Yeah, and then in this minute, he contradicts himself. Because when Waldman, yes. later, when Waldman goes over to it, he eh? says, dead, eh? Yeah. In in a blurred, I'm kind of yeah, jumping around well, the minute now. Yeah, but no, that's we, what, no, that's we okay. can get to that when yeah, we get to it. Right, right. Um, first, he says um, he says a line that I've that I've always I've always thought sounded weird, but I guess I said that about a few things that Clive <laughs> says. But in this one in particular, he says from graves, from the gallows, anywhere, and it always seemed odd to me because he's talking about himself. So if someone had asked. If someone had said, well, where did you where get did you all get these all bodies? And he said, oh, the graves, the gallows, anywhere. Yeah. But the fact that he's saying it without any prompting makes it seem like he's bragging. Like he's saying, I think so. I am fucked up. You don't know you what I've no, been up to, man. No idea the depths I, of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the depths of depravity that I've that gone I've to. gone through, yeah. yeah. No, I, I'm I, nuts. I, I'm fucking nuts. I agree, but yeah. I also think it's it's a throwback to the novel where okay. he says he gets yeah. from the gallows, from the graveyards to charnel houses, slaughterhouses. Anywhere. Anywhere. I'll put Fritz's hump on there. Yeah, we got Yeah, shit. whatever. Fuck, man. I, <laughs> I'm off the hook. <laughs> I'm off the hook. Um, There's no turning and it, back. And he's also saying in that same moment, and maybe I'm making this up, but he's saying, you know, to Waldman, look what you made me do. Because yeah, because you wouldn't. To get the yeah, I tried to get, to, to get him I tried legitimately. To get legit ones, yeah, and you wouldn't. And you you wouldn't, wouldn't play ball. Yeah. So it's your fault. This is your fault. <laughs> because it well, because he was saying to, it directly to him yeah. too. So yeah, that's from the graves, that's good, gallows, anywhere. anywhere. That's like a, a guy talking to you like that. You'd be like, whoa, what? all right. Okay, okay. 
take it down a notch. <laughs> we're, we're, we're cool. We're cool. Yeah, he's, pr- he's It's like he's proud. He is, I think. Because uh, Waldman, Waldman earlier says uh, when he's talking to Elizabeth and, and Bowles, Victor. Um, <laughs> we call him Bowles, Bowles a, lot. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we don't ever call her May Clark. No. We don't call her Clark. No. Yeah. Clark and Bowles. <laughs> That'd be a great vaudeville team. <laughs> but he says I earlier I that he. I why f- that, that phrasing works well. Clark and Bowles. It sounds like something else that I won't discuss. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> it kind of does. Kind of That's okay. That's all right. Um, he says earlier that you know he found his his bodies elsewhere. So Baldwin already kind of has an inkling. Yeah, that's that true. Henry's a little unhinged. Yeah. So I think yeah, that's there's, true. A, there's a reason. Baldwin's probably not surprised by it. He's not surprised by it, but I think that's why he's kind of stonewalling him. Is just like, okay. Yeah. You've crossed the line. Yeah. And he's crossed many, 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 many lines here. Yeah. Um, yeah. The main one is that you don't have a group of peers, your, sure. your peers, you know, critiquing your work and saying, mm-hmm. yeah, is this a good idea at all? Yeah. You know, you, you said uh, last week, you, you used a, a term that kind of, uh, you said something about uh, Henry's just been alone with Fritz. Mm-hmm. And in this minute, we get another, it, 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 it made me think of this minute because he says something, and again, I'm skipping all over the place, but sure. you just said it about your peers. Yeah. He's just there with Fritz. Right. And at one point in this minute, and I hate, maybe I should save this, but he says, uh, one man crazy, yeah. three, three very spa- yeah. sane spectators. Yeah. And right on the screen is it's another just, person right who turns there. and looks to the spectators. Yeah. He's, he does not count. Nope. Yeah. Well, that's true, though. He's, what can he's you the do? hired help. He's the help. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably a maid in there, too. Yeah, you know, someone's got to come and tidy up. But yeah, he's alone. Yeah. And obviously Fritz is no kind of... Yeah, not really much of a companion. <laughs> it doesn't really seem not, like... It doesn't seem like you can have some... Well, like deep, you said, the peer review, he's yeah. probably not providing that on no, a, in any no, in any way. No, no one is questioning... Except, I guess, when they go to the gallows, the gibbet. Is that what you the call it? The gibbet. That's the one time he provides some feedback. Of, yeah. Hey, hey, whoa. Whoa. Really? whoa. What? <laughs> Digging up graves is one thing. <laughs> yeah, climbing up there? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I ain't doing that. There may be a you know, psychopathic lunatic, yeah. but I have my but I have <laughs> standards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, he references that he made it with my own his own hands. Mm-hmm. That body is not dead. I made it with my own hands. and. He stresses that several times, and I made the point I don't know, three, four years ago <laughs> when we were talking about it that some critics see this as sort of a, a masturbation reference, which I think mm-hmm. is kind of silly. It's reading a lot of Freud into it that I don't think is there. Yes, I don't think the the, the, the reference to hands. No, it doesn't. It's just right to it's me. I of all so he's bragging that <laughs> looky what I can do. Looky right. look what I did with my own hands. With my Absolutely. own hands. That's why yeah. the way I take that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I would say if it was, I, I think I probably did say this, but uh, the um, there is a, a sense of, of creating life without the traditional methods. Female, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I think that's, mo- that's more explicitly, not explicitly, I think that you'll see that more in the sequel yes. when he's talking with... Um, Pretorius. Pretorius, yeah. 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 No such name. No such name. <laughs> uh, Get them way ahead of ourselves now. <laughs> tune, in, tune in a year and a half from now to find yeah, out what we're talking about. what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's in the book, too. It's, 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 it's not explicitly stated, but it's definitely yeah. the subtext. As, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Um, and Henry here fluctuates from very excited to that kind of off-putting calmness. Yeah, that he has it's just yeah, you know the, the intense staring. Like I said, I don't think he blinks. He's a psycho. He is a little psycho. I yeah, mean, that's uh, yeah, that's a basically. That's kind of what you get it, it, from yeah. That's a performance of someone who's kind of a psycho. Kind of a they're, little they're schizophrenic. Yeah, schizophrenic kind of. Um, uh, you don't know what you're gonna get from moment to moment. Right. Very off-putting. You don't know when they're gonna explode. When they're gonna, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get there. Yeah. Um, so then he, he says uh, he says to uh, Waldman to go and look. Yep. And so he reverses his original. Yep. Get There's the no away. way in hell. Yeah. You're, I'm going to let you inspect even, that body. Yeah. Now. And now he's completely changed his go, mind on go that cop one. Go cop a feel, yeah. And he says, you too, to uh, Victor and Elizabeth. Yeah. And they slowly stand up and move forward about a foot and a half. Uh, yeah. They're like, <laughs> I'm like... I'm good. Uh, no, I know. I, I, I can see it fine. I can see it fine. <laughs> they don't even step down. No. I mean, they're... No, they... He, they he, Baldwin comes forward 20 feet, and they come forward like maybe three feet. Yeah. You know, they're not coming forward of, in no, any meaningful way. Okay. Yeah, and then he picks But again, I think that's because it's the, this is way beyond their comprehension. Yeah. You know. That's probably right. Certainly, it's beyond Bull's comprehension. Because <laughs> he looks bored through this <laughs> whole scene. 
Yeah. Where am I supposed? Maybe he's just uh, he's baffled find, by the block. Got to find his tape yeah, on the floor. Where do I have, do yeah, I have to that's stand? Right. He's got to yeah. find the fucking tape on the floor. <laughs> that's all he's doing. Yeah. And and she she just you know has this sort of wide eyed like yeah she's mm, acting still. What the hell did I just step into? And, yeah, she's following it. Oh yeah. Well, you can see her later on. Her her eyes darting about. So yeah, she's yeah. she's she's in the moment for she's sure. She's in the moment. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So Baldwin, and it's a nicely framed shot mm-hmm. with the the table in the foreground and what I assume to be the cosmic ray diffuser hanging above. Um, nice touch. Yep. And with Henry kind of out of off, focus. Out of focus. Yeah. Strange. Off to the side. And, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. I, I think don't it's think fine. that's deliberate. I think it's just a technical. Yeah, it's hard to get all those things into focus. And yeah, look it's what at they it call a deep focus shot, and mm-hmm. I would assume in 1931 it was a fairly difficult thing to do, mm-hmm. to accomplish with the lenses they had back uh, then. I, the I film stock. think it's probably not insignificant to do it even now. To light it properly and all, right. yeah, it's yeah. it's not easy. You have to try to do it. Yeah, right, it's not yeah. something you're going to just point right. the camera. And yeah. It's fine. And, and he's, I think just he's because well he's lit. he's well lit, I think it's just because he's on the edge of the frame. Mm-hmm. It's just maintaining the focus was just a technical issue. And what, what and the result is something that you can sort of. I think I agree with you that it's a technical issue, right. but you can look at it as being sort of spooky, like yeah, dead. Hey, yeah, like he's oh, losing he's, it back he's, there. He's, he's, he's yeah. doing Fritz almost. He's back almost, there. yeah. He's, yeah. Whereas before, yeah, like seconds ago, he said it wasn't dead. Yeah. Yep. What I think he's inferring is that it's not alive, right? Yeah. It's never lived. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll forgive the, uh, the, the expression he uses yeah. there. For him to say that body's not dead, it has never lived, is a dramatic way of expressing what he's trying to say. Right. But and if 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 at that moment Baldwin had said, but I mean, it is dead, it right? Is and dead. he would go, yeah, 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 it's fucking it's dead, dead, all right. right? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yes, oh, it's dead. <laughs> okay, it's dead. Nine. It's dead. Dead as this watchtower. <laughs> as dead as John Bull's performance. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then another thing that happens is he says, uh, when he says, one man crazy, and he looks crazy. And he, he looks, he's, yeah. He's, I'm going to smack my microphone. And, uh, uh, he's, he's, he's just tapping himself, himself on the, the shoulder. In the chest. The and chest, then the rather. camera goes a little bit crazy. The camera, the camera doesn't this is, smoothly it's, it's, zoom in. It's, it's tracking forward on the crane again, but okay. it's, not, it's not a smooth. It's, not smooth. it's sort of... It sort of wavers from side to side, and I'm not sure if that's deliberate or not. It's awesome. Though. It's it it, it, adds it, to fits it fits what Henry's doing. Yes, mm-hmm. totally. And unfortunately, it's what movies look like now. Mm-hmm. Movies all the time are on these shaky. Oh kinda... yeah, I'm so tired of that handheld. Yeah, yeah. handheld. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the jerky. Yeah. Zoom in and out, it? and yeah, yeah. I sound like an old curmudgeon. No, I know. You know what's I, more? That is TV shows, actually. Yeah, like, TV shows are a lot like that. It was because it's easy to shoot that way. Yeah, it's exactly. Very quick. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Lightweight cameras, yep. three or four of them. Yep. Get get coverage, mm-hmm. all that stuff. I was watching some show. I don't even know what it was. I tried to think of what it was. I don't remember. But I looked at it and I go, "This looks like The Office." Because I don't really watch mm-hmm. uh, sitcoms, I guess, all nah. that much. But I saw I saw one. It was a, it's it's a show that's on and everybody likes it and everything. <laughs> and I'm like, it just looks like all the other shows. Like Parks yeah. and Rec looked like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, that shaky camera. It's sort of camera. that pseudo documentary look. Pseudo documentary, perfect. Yeah. I mean that, um, and that is what the show is too. Is uh-huh. a pseudo documentary. Yeah. Um, you you see, so you just but, actually but, get less of that in features. But but you see that. No, I I still see it in features all yeah. the time. Because um, now you know when when they enhance stuff with CGI, they can do motion tracking. Yeah, that's so true. So no matter how shaky the shot is, yeah, it it they can piece it together. Yeah. With backgrounds and foreground and yeah. generated images to be fairly seamless. So that's why you get those Transformers movies. I don't know if you've ever uh, seen one. Never. But I've seen clips of them. I'm not 13, so yeah. I'm not apt <laughs> I don't to... know if it would help. No. Because <laughs> it, uh, you, when I've seen clips of them or whatever, I just it's it's baffling to me. And I've seen some of these movies like... Uh, well, you know, I like to I, I like the Marvel movies. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like um, I like that Pacific Rim. I saw that. Oh, that yeah. was pretty good. The, the but so first one or the you, sequel? The first one. I yeah, never saw yeah, the sequel. Yeah. Um, but uh, so you get like the Transformers movies. That seems to me like that's a big part of what's going on. Is the sh- camera's yeah. shaky, and they are able to do, as you say, do that tracking, uh-huh. so they can effectively dr- make something exist in in real space right. on a tr- on a shaky picture, uh-huh. and it's as confusing as hell. I have no yeah, idea no what idea the what's fuck happening. is going yeah. on. I think the idea is it's supposed to seem, you know, give it a sense of urgency and some anxiety, maybe. Yeah, that's really not there. Yeah, and yeah, I'm with you. I don't know what the fuck's happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I noticed it in. Uh, now I'm going off uh, off it on a tangent, but I remember when uh, the year Gr- Gladiator came out. Oh, Gladiator yeah. was best picture. Yeah. I had no idea what the fuck was going on in that movie. It's just a <laughs> yeah. bunch of dirt flying all which, over the place. Which is unusual because it was directed by Ridley Scott, who's usually a very very good storyteller. That time. year he made Hannibal, and I yeah, and well, everybody hated it. You apparently did too. And I, I was, was like, a, that movie was so great. It was and, and he compared made to Gladiator. Year. Yeah. I would say it's great. Yeah. yeah. And that was yeah, baffling. Too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I think we've covered that. <laughs> we have. And then, yeah, so, th- but when he says th- the three very sane spectators, it cuts back to the reverse angle behind him. And he, you know, waves his hand at the three of them. And yeah, there's poor Fritz. Yeah. What does he think? Yeah, He's he like, doesn't care. I'm right here. He doesn't. He looks away like, are you talking? Wait a minute. What? You know what he probably thinks? I don't, it's three it sounds about right. He's, yeah, he's not, like, not yeah, willing yeah. to do the math. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> that seems Yeah, right. that seems good. He actually says also quite a good scene, quite a good isn't scene, it? Which yeah. is a cool thing for a character to say in a movie, in a right. scene. And it in is a, a good scene. scene. It is a good scene, and it's yeah. staged like a performance almost. Mm-hmm. You know, they're up on the yeah. level above him. Right. Yeah. They're in the audience. They're in the audience. They're, they're the spectators. Well, that's why I think he's at this moment is like, okay, gloves are off. You're going to stay and watch. Yeah. Because I think previously when he says, we'll find out tomorrow, he was thinking about making them leave. Yeah, I got some stuff you, to do tonight. Yeah. You come back tomorrow. And you'll see. And you'll see. Yeah, that makes sense. But I think I like Waldman that. challenging him as much as he has, yep. you know, you kind of see the light bulb again. Okay. Yep. Take a look. Just like when he has that moment of, Come on up. Yes, you know it's yeah. that, and that's the first moment. Yeah, of, yeah. Realize, yeah. At, at that, and at that moment, he's just come on up, take a look about what's going to happen after you leave. Yeah, but now it's now it's like okay, it's all changed. All right, all right. You're so smart. <laughs> so see, we'll see yeah. how smart you are. And then you know, he asks Fritz, "Is is everything ready?" Mm-hmm. And Fritz is eager, like, yeah, 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 let's go. Yep. And then he says something, Henry says something that you can't hear because there's a big thunderclap. Yeah. And his mouth is clearly moving. Yep. I couldn't really find anything in the script. I have okay. no idea. So The subtitles was, are no help. There was nothing. Yep. Yeah. I noticed that too. Yeah. It's, I don't know what he's. And that's uh, appropriate to me. And I think we'll get some more of that in the next minute. Yeah, we get I, some more yeah. of their indistinct. That's perfect. Sort of, yeah. That's all. I don't. I don't need to know what they're. No, t- we know, I do we, hear some of it. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk about it. We we'll hear week. some of it in the next. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, here you don't hear anything because mm-hmm. the thunder completely yeah. obscures it. And and along with the thunder, which doesn't happen every time, but it happens this time, is some lightning. lightning. And Victor is afraid of the lightning. He, well, <laughs> you know, in the next couple minutes, he, like he shows his true colors, oh, yeah. I think, in the next we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this more. Yeah. But, in the, yeah. Um, yeah, he's the he only one that really two winces. Feet. Yeah, he winces, winces at the lightning. At the lightning. And, and Elizabeth doesn't. No. Nope. You know. Baldwin reacts, I think, because Victor does. Right. At this moment. Yeah. He's like, we're all going back now yeah. to, the, to sit down. <laughs> Get Fine, safe let's distance. go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he doesn't can, react to the lightning. If I can get that key and yeah. get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah that's a uh, good point. No, I, I noticed, yeah, of course, Vic, Victor. <laughs> that's Bowles' is acting. <laughs> well, if you're going to just stand there, can you, I don't yeah, know, can you, look scared of the lightning? <laughs> do something. <laughs> just, I, uh, I get I'm the, paying I'm, this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I get the impression, and I believe we've talked about this before, Yeah. that, you know, Whale was sort of stuck with him. Yeah. And just really didn't give him much direction because he really didn't care. Yeah. That's what I get. The character is disposable, more or less. And... I'm just picturing him behind the camera now, pretending to throw something at him so he wins <laughs> yeah. for the lightning. <laughs> Heads up! <laughs> <laughs> no, jeez. <laughs> tingling nerve shattering podcast featuring all your favorite monsters you won't believe your ears when you listen to monster kid radio here are your host derek m cook and his ever rotating stable of guests discuss your favorite classic and sometimes not so classic monster movies subscribe to monster kid radio through itunes or stitcher or visit MonsterKidRadio.net before the next weekly episode of Monster Kid Radio. Go through the archives for interviews with Sarah Karloff, Victoria Bryce, and Joel Hodgson. 
Listen to discussions about movies like Creature from the Black Lagoon, Island of Terror, and King Kong. And don't forget convention coverage from Monster Bash and the HP Lovecraft Film Festival. Classic Monsters, Modern Talk, and the Head of Rondo Hatton. Only on Monster Kid Radio.